The organization of the Air Service of the American Expeditionary Force on November 11, 1918 represents its maximum strength in World War I. Units of the Air Service are listed as assigned to the order of battle for that date, which was that of the armistice with Germany. The first air unit arrived in France in September 1917, while the final air unit reaching the front did so on November 9, 1918. Unit operations began in April 1918. At the armistice, 57,508 officers and men served in the air service of the AEF, 24,512 in the zone of advance and 32,996 in the services of supply. Of its 6,861 officers, 4,088 were on flying status and 219 were qualified observation balloon aviators. 1,724 of those on flying status and approximately 100 of the balloonists served in combat units. The first Army Air Service was activated August 26, 1918, with Col. Benjamin Fowlois named Chief over Col. Billy Mitchell. The Air Service, Second Army Air Service was activated on October 12 with Col. Frank P. Lam as Chief, and the Air Service, Third Army Air Service was created immediately after the armistice to provide aviation support to the Army of Occupation primarily from veteran units transferred from the 1st Army Air Service. The first two air combat groups formed in the AEF were the 1st Corps Observation Group in April 1918 and the 1st Pursuit Group at Toole. Ultimately 14 airplane and 7 balloon groups were formed to support the operations of two field armies and five corps. The five pursuit and two bombardment groups were organized into two wings. The seven observation and seven balloon groups had one of each assigned to an army or corps air service. Two flexible observation wings were created to coordinate the reconnaissance activities of the five corps air services. The basic units of the air service were the squadron for powered aircraft and the company for balloons. 45 squadrons of aircraft and 17 companies of balloons served at the front. The 20 pursuit and 7 bombardment squadrons were authorized 25 aircraft and 18 crews each by the field service regulations, while the 18 observation squadrons were each authorized 24 planes and 18 crews. Balloon companies were equipped with one balloon and approximately six observers each. Air Service of the American Expeditionary Force Headquarters Air Service Zone of Advance Headquarters, Chief of Air Service, AEF Major General Mason M. Patrick Headquarters, Chief of Air Service, Group of Armies Brigadier General William L. Billy Mitchell First Army Air Service The First Army Air Service was the largest and most diverse air service combat organization of the American Expeditionary Forces in France and most American air service combat units were assigned to it when assigned to the front. The first Army Air Service dates to the first American air service personnel arriving in France. On 15 January 1918, Colonel William Mitchell was appointed Chief of the Air Service, 1st Corps, 1st Army. At this time, the 1st Corps was being formed for the purpose of administratively handling all of the American troops then on the Western Front. Headquarters was located at Neuf Chateau, France. When the 1st American Aero Squadrons arrived at the front in April 1918, they were assigned to the Quiet Tool Sector. At this time, the American Air Service on the front consisted of only a few Aero Squadrons of the 1st Pursuit Group. The unit was formally organized on 26 August at Ligny en Barwa, France. It consisted of the French Aerial Division, which consisted of a large number of Pursuit and Day Bombardment Squadrons. In addition, there was one other French pursuit group and three American pursuit groups, one American day bombardment group, the 1st Army Observation, and one French Army Artillery Group for the adjustment of long-range artillery fire. Eight night bombardment squadrons of the British Royal Air Force, 
were to cooperate with the First Army Air Service whenever the tactical situation made such action expedient. The establishment of the First Army Air Service marks the first concentration of American Air Forces under its own commander. On the 11th of November 1918, all offensive flying ended at 11 a.m. in compliance with the armistice with Germany. As part of the armistice, Allied forces were to occupy the Rhineland area of Germany beginning on 1 December. The Third Army Air Service was established to be the air component of the United States Third Army. Units from the First Army has contributed to over half the strength of Third Army as, consisting of eight aero squadrons, and the headquarters of the Third Corps Observation Group, and the Seventh Corps Observation Group. Headquarters was officially demobilized on 15 April 1919. Its men arriving in the United States by the end of May and either were transferred to air service units or returned to civilian life. HQ First Army Air Service, 10 August 1918 to 15 April 1919. Colonel Thomas D. Milling, Commander First Day Bombardment Group, the 10th of September 1918 to 17 December 1918. Major James L. Dunsworth, Commander 11th Aero Squadron, the 5th of September 1918 to 11 December 1918. 20th Aero Squadron, the 5th of September 1918 to 11 December 1918. 96th Aero Squadron, the 29th of May 1918 to 11 December. December 1918 166th Aero Squadron the 20th of September 1918 to 7 April 1919 First Army Observation Group the 6th of September 1918 to 15 April 1919 Captain Harry T. Wood, Commander 9th Aero Squadron, the 26th of August 1918 to 15 November 1918, 24th Aero Squadron, the 14th of August 1918 to 15 April 1919, 91st Aero Squadron, the 7th of May 1918 to 27 December 1918, 186th Aero Squadron, the 5th of October 1918 to 15 April 19 1919 First Army Balloon Group, Major John Paragolo, Commander 11th Balloon Company 43D Balloon Company First Corps Observation Wing, Major Melvin Hall, Commander First Corps Observation Group, the 21st of April 1918 to 15 April 1919. First Aero Squadron, the 6th of April 1918 to 18 November 1918. 12th Aero Squadron, the 30th of April 1918 to 20 November 1918. 50th Aero Squadron, the 14th of August 1918 to 2 April 1919. First Corps Corps Balloon Group, First Balloon Company, 2D Balloon Company, Fifth Balloon Company, Third Corps Air Service. Major Joseph C. Morrow, Commander 3rd Corps Observation Group, the 10th of August 1918, 19 December 1918. Captain Kenneth P. Lithauer, Commander 88th Aero Squadron, the 24th of May 1918 to 15 November 1918, 90th Aero Squadron, the 11th of June 1918, 19 December 1918, 3rd Corps Balloon Group. 3D Balloon Company, 4th Balloon Company, 9th Balloon Company, 42D Balloon Company, 4th Corps Observation Group, 1 July 14 October 1918. 135th Aero Squadron, 30 July 14 October 1918, 8th Aero Squadron, 31 July 23 October 1918, 5th Corps Air Service, Major Martin F. Scanlon, Commander 5th Corps Observation Group, the 1st of September 1918 to 15 February 1919. 99th Aero Squadron, the 12th of June 1918 to 15 February 1919. 104th Aero Squadron, the 7th of August 1918, 19 December 1918. 5th Corps Balloon Group. Captain Alvin C. Wa, Commander 6th Balloon Company, 7th Balloon Company, 8th Balloon Company, 12th Balloon Company, 7th Corps Observation Group, the 7th of August 1918, the 15th of April 1919. 
258th Aero Squadron, the 10th of September 1918 to 15 April 1919, 278th Aero Squadron, the 29th of October 1918 to 15 April 1919, 1st Pursuit Wing, the 29th of June 1918, the 17th of December 1918. Major Bert M. Atkinson, Commander First Pursuit Group, the 5th of May 1918 to 17 December 1918. Major Harold E. Hartney, Commander 27th Aero Squadron, the 30th of April 1918 to 11 December 1918. 94th Aero Squadron, the 9th of April 1918 to 7 April 1919. 95th Aero Squadron, the 5th of May 1918 to 5. December 1918 147th Aero Squadron the 29th of May 1918 to 5 December 1918 185th Aero Squadron the 5th of October 1918 to 10 April 1919 2D Pursuit Group the 29th of June 1918 the 11th of December 1918 Major Davenport Johnson Commander 13th Aero Squadron the 28th of June 1918 to 5 December 1918 22 D Aero Squadron the 22nd of August 1918 to 10 April 1919 49th Aero Squadron the 14th of August 1918 to 5 December 1918 139th Aero Squadron the 12th of June 1918 to 11 December 1918 3D Pursuit Group the 26th of July 1918 to 31 December 1918 Major William Thor II Commander 28th Aero Squadron the 22nd of August 1918 to 27 December 1918 93 D Aero Squadron the 14th of August 1918 to 11 December 1918 103 D Aero Squadron the 30th of June 1918 to 11 December 1918 213th Aero Squadron the 14th of August 1918 to 10 April 1919 2nd Army S Service The Second Army Air Service was established on 14 October 1918 by General Order 287 GHQ. Paragraph 170 appointed Colonel Frank P. Lam as Chief of Air Service, Second Army, thus establishing a separate air service organization. Headquarters was established at Gengo Aerodrome, Toul, France. As a result of the armistice with Germany, American occupation forces would be sent to the German Rhineland, the Third Army Air Service. Under the command of Brigadier General William Mitchell was organized on 14 November as the Air Service component of Third Army. First and Second Army Air Services were ordered to transfer some of its units at the front to Third Army as part of its organization, along with personnel from their headquarters staffs along with the required equipment, ranging from office furniture to airplanes. The 5th Pursuit Group was transferred to 3rd Army on 19 November, along with the 41st, 138th and 638th Aero Squadrons. On 15 April 1919, orders were received from Paris that the 2nd Army Air Service was to demobilize. The 85th, 141st, 168th, and 354th Aero Squadrons were transferred to 3rd Army, with the remainder of its organizations to report to the services of Supply 1st Air Depot to turn in their equipment. After being processed at Columbia, personnel were assigned to the commanding general services of supply and sent to one of several staging depots in France where they awaited transport back to the United States and subsequent return to civilian life. HQ Second Army Air Service, the 12th of October 1918 to 15 April 1919. Colonel Frank P. Lam, Commander 2nd Army Observation Wing 2nd Army Observation Group 25 October 4 November 1918. Major C. Delaney, Commander 85th Aero Squadron, 25 October 4 November 1918 Escadrilles Sal, 28, Spa, 47, and Spa, 277.
Aeronautica Militaire, 4th Corps Observation Group 14 October 21 November 1918, Major Harry B. Anderson, Commander 85th Aero Squadron, 4-21 November 1918 135th Aero Squadron, 14 October 21 November 1918 168th Aero Squadron the 12th of October 1918 to 21 November 1918 6th Corps Observation Group 14 October 21 November 1918 Major Joseph D McNerney Commander 8th Aero Squadron 23 October 21 November 1918 354th Aero Squadron 14 October 21 November 1918 2D Day Bombardment Group the 1st of November 1918 to 15 April 1919 Major George e. A Reinberg Commander 100th Aero Squadron the 1st of November 1918 to 15 April 1919 163d Aero Squadron the 1st of November 1918 to 15 April 1919 4th Pursuit Group the 26th of October 1918 the 15th of April 1919 Major Charles J Biddle Commander 17th Aero Squadron the 4th of November 1918 the 15th of April 1919 25th Aero Squadron the 27th of October 1918 the 15th of April 1919 141st Aero Squadron the 27th of October 1918 to 15 April 1919 148th Aero Squadron the 4th of November 1918 the 15th of April 1919 5th Pursuit Group the 15th of November 1918 to 15 April 1919 Captain Dudley L. Hill, Commander 41st Aero Squadron, the 15th of November 1918 to 15 April 1919, 138th Aero Squadron, the 15th of November 1918 to 15 April 1919, 638th Aero Squadron, the 15th of November 1918 to 15 April 1919, 2nd Army Balloon Wing, Major John H. Duet, Commander 20 and 52 Balloon Companies, Aeronautica Militaire 4th Corps Balloon Group, 15th, 18th, and 69th Balloon Companies 6th Corps Balloon Group, 10th Balloon Company 3rd Army Air Service. Promptly after the armistice, the AEF formed the 3rd United States Army to march immediately into Germany while the remainder of the army demobilized. Brig. Gen. Mitchell was appointed to command the 3rd Army Air Service on November 14, 1918. Gen. Mitchell was replaced in January as commander of the 3rd Army Air Service by Carl Harold Fowler, a combat veteran of the Royal Flying Corps and former commander of the American 17th Pursuit Squadron. The most veteran units of the Air Service were selected to form the new Air Service. A pursuit unit, the 94th Aero Squadron, a day bombardment squadron, the 166th, and four observation squadrons were initially assigned. HQ 3rd Army Air Service, the 14th of November 1918 to 2 July 1919. Trier Airfield, the 8th of December 1918 19 January 1919. Koblenz Airdrome, Fort Kaiser Alexander, 19 January 2 July 1919 9th Aero Squadron. The 21st of November 1918 to 15 April 1919 91st Aero Squadron. The 21st of November 1918 to 16 April 1919 94th Aero Squadron. The 21st of November 1918 to 16 April 1919 138th Aero Squadron. 12 April 1 July 1919 166th Aero Squadron. The 21st of November 1918 to 16 April 1919 Third Corps Observation Group. The 21st of November 1918 to 12 May 1919. Bison Therm Airdrome 1st Aero Squadron, the 21st of November 1918 to 12 May 1919 24th Aero Squadron, the 15th of April 1919 to 12 May 1919 168th Aero Squadron. 
the 15th of April 1919 to 12 May 1919 258th Aero Squadron the 15th of April 1919 to 12 May 1919 3rd Corps Balloon Group 1st, 3rd, 14th, 24th and 44th Balloon Companies 4th Corps Observation Group, the 21st of November 1918 to 12 May 1919. Coblins Airdrome 12th Aero Squadron, the 21st of November 1918 to 16 April 1919. Sinsig Airdrome 85th Aero Squadron, the 15th of April 1919 to 12 May 1919. 278th Aero Squadron, the 15th of April 1919 to 12 May 1919. 354th Aero Squadron, the 15th of April 1919 to 12 May 1919. 7th Corps Observation Group, the 22nd of November 1918 to 12 May 1919. Trier Aerodrome 9th Aero Squadron, the 15th of April 1919 to 12 May 1919. 12th Aero Squadron, the 22nd of November 1918 to 12 May 1919. 88th Aero Squadron, the 22nd of November 1918 to 12 May 1919. 186th Aero Squadron, the 15th of April 1919 to 12 May 1919. 5th Pursuit Group, the 15th. 15th of April 1919 to 12 May 1919. Coblins Airdrome 41st Aero Squadron, the 15th of April 1919 to 12 May 1919, 138th Aero Squadron, the 15th of April 1919 to 12 May 1919, 141st Aero Squadron. The 15th of April 1919 to 12 May 1919 638th Aero Squadron the 15th of April 1919 to 12 May 1919 on April 15th 1919 the 1st and 2nd Army Air Services in France closed down and the remainder of its personnel were returned to the United States as a result, the 3rd Army Air Service was augmented with some of the few squadrons remaining in France. The 3rd Army Air Service's pursuit squadrons were consolidated at Coblins. The 1st Aero Squadron and the remaining observation squadrons were consolidated at Vicentherm and formed the 3rd Corps Observation Group. The 4th Corps Observation Group consisted of only the 85th Aero Squadron at Sinzing. The 7th Corps Observation Group was at Trier. On 15 May 1919, the Air Service was ordered to demobilize all of its flying units, which reported to the 1st Air Depot, Columbie Les Belles Aerodrome, France for subsequent transfer to the services of supply for processing back to the United States from channel ports of embarkation in France. The remaining air service units were consolidated at Coblins, with the other facilities in the Rhineland closed and dismantled. American Forces Germany The Treaty of Versailles officially came into effect in June 1919, and the Third Army Air Service was withdrawn. The Third Army Air Service officially was demobilized on 2 July 1919 and the American forces Germany took over the occupation duties in the Rhineland. In July 1920, it was decided to add an air service organization to the forces of the AFG, and on 23 July a detachment of officers and men were deployed to Germany, under the command of Major Frank M. Andrews. They were not assigned to any specific aero squadron, but to the AFG directly. The air service personnel were established at Weissentherm, south of Koblenz on the Rhine River. A new aerodrome was established, and some Bessonneau hangars were erected and quarters were established for personnel and officers. The contingent was equipped with 24 de Havilland DH-4 aircraft, powered by American Liberty engines. In March 1921, Army engineers had erected facilities on the airfield and the Americans were moved to the airfield from the temporary facilities they occupied in the town during the winter. Occupation duties included all sorts and types of flying, such as test flights, photos of radio telegraph and radio telephone missions. 
joint flights with infantry, cavalry and artillery units during the winter and spring maneuvers, cross-country flights and passenger carrying. A significant amount of aerial photography was taken for cartographic missions, and large mosaics of photos were created. The post-war occupation mission was not popular with the American people, nor with the Americans sent to Germany, nor with the Germans. In 1922, President Harding began withdrawing American forces from the Rhineland. All AFG aviation activities were shut down in April, and all of the excess equipment was disposed of those sales. On 24 January 1923, the last American forces departed from Germany, leaving Koblenz to the French, formally ending the United States' involvement in World War I.